Welcome. Welcome to this talk, Desperately Seeking Something, starting with a S. No, this is not about the movie Desperately Seeking Suzanne. No, this is about Desperately Seeking a Prototype Step Speedway. My name is Hubert Chanson from the University of Queensland, and I've investigated Step Speedway hydraulics for over 32 years. And in particular, my research interests have been around physical modeling on multiphase flow analysis. And today, the state of the art in both physical and numerical modeling is challenged by the extrapolation of the result to full scale. And there's a need for high quality field observation on measurements. In the next few minutes, I will discuss the long search for a suitable site for field observation and field measurement during step speed operations, a long surge that brought me from Jordan to Weir to the Hins Dam stage three. A potential site was the Jordan to Weir near the township of Gatton in southeast Queensland, a reinforced earth weir equipped with an overfall step speedway, which unfortunately was removed in the early 2000s. Other potential sites included the timber creep weirs in Queensland, built in the 1940s and 1950s, most often disused, removed, or crooked. Alternatives could have been the sheet pile concrete weirs, typically located in remote locations with difficult access during major floods, and unfortunately high tailwater conditions, which could lead potentially to the submergence of the weir during major floods. A promising site was the Gold Creek Dam, completed in 1885 and equipped in 1890 with a modern concrete stepsway still in use today. And this is discussed in a number of relevant movies. But access to the Gold Creek Dam spillway during a major flood is a challenge because the main access road is underwater with fast running water. And the access is through a forest track with several hours of walks under very difficult, tough conditions. This map illustrates in white the sealed Cold Creek Road underwater during spills, and in yellow, one of the forest tracks to access on foot to the dam spillway. To see videos like this one, taken on the 26th February 2022, with at the time a discharge of about 40 cubic meter per second. Another possible site was the Paradise Dam Step Spillway in central Queensland, with here a photograph taken on the 30th of December 2010, with a discharge of nearly 6,000 cubic meter per second. Seen here in this video, what a sight, 6,000 cubic meter per second, and that was not even close to the design discharge. But access to the Paradise Dam during major flood is very difficult as seen here in 2010 or here in 2013. This led me to the Hins Dam Stage 3, completed in 2011, where the original smooth shoot spillway, seen in the bottom right, was replaced by a concrete step shoot with a compound crest on buffer blocks acting as dissipator in the stilling basin. This video illustrates the operation of the Hins Dam Step Spillway on the 5th of March 2022 highlighting in particular the flow condition near the inception of free surface aeration. Field observations were conducted in 2013, 2015, 2017, 2021, and 2022, with additional field visits with undergrad students during a number of times, thanks to sequater staff. Why the Hinsdam Stage 3 Step Spillway? because it provides two sturdy observation platforms with excellent physical and optical access and a very good support and assistance from the asset owner and dam operator. 
which in turn could lead to a result like this one with on the right, the, vortice, the surface vorticity of the flow during operation in 2021. And on the left, uh, the vertical uh, low, uh, distribution of the streamwise surface velocity comparison between field observation in colored red data being ideal field flow theory on cross being laboratory observations. And this has been documented in a case study published by the American Society of Civil Engineers in 2022. So in summary, why field observation on measurements in prototype step spillways? Because nature is the final jury. Because there are opportunities during and lessons to be learned from major flood events. And in Queensland, we have had a very wet period from 2010 to 2022. But also because water engineering is not a desk job for desk jockeys. Water engineering is not a desk job for desk jockeys. Desperately seeking a prototype step subway, the Hinsdam step free step spillway is an excellent site providing a superb physical and optical access. I need to acknowledge a number of people, including Sequater and Sequater staff. The next free slide will provide a number of relevant references. Thank you very much.